Hello, I'm Dr. Richard Call with NJSR. Today I'm going to be demonstrating a cervical epidural injection. And to demonstrate the technique, I'd like to use this plastic model of the spine to illustrate some of the anatomical features and some of the technical features. As you can see, this is the front of the cervical spine. This represents the back of the cervical spine. These white structures represent the intervertebral bodies and these grey entities represent the intervertebral discs. You can see some yellow structures coming out of the side of the column. These represent the exiting nerve roots or the nerves that supply motor and sensory function to the arms. The procedure involves the injection of a solution through a small needle from the back of the neck. And as you can see, the needle is inserted through the spinous processes under fluoroscopic control. The needle tip is advanced up to the back of the neck to an area called the ligamentum flavin and medicine is injected through the needle into the epidural space. Okay, then. So we'll, uh, the procedure commences uh, with the injection of some local anesthetic into the subcutaneous region. Little pinprick. A little bit of 1% lidocaine is injected to anesthetize the skin and subcutaneous tissues picture. Under fluoroscopic guidance the needle is advanced into the space between the spinous processes picture, and the local anesthetic solution is injected to anesthetize the area. We are at the C7-T1 level and approximately 3 to 4 cc's of 1% lidocaine is injected. The needle is removed and the epidural TUI needle is then advanced under fluoroscopic guidance through the anesthetized area. Picture. Under fluoroscopic guidance, the needle is moved between the spinous processes of C7 and T1 to the ligamentum flavin. Drop of fluid, please. The hanging drop technique is used to identify the epidural space. The needle is advanced under fluoroscopic guidance using the hanging direct drop technique into the epidural space. A contrast solution is then advanced through the needle picture and as can be seen from the x-ray an epidurogram is identified. The therapeutic solution which contains Depomedrol, the anti-inflammatory with a local anesthetic is then attached to the TUI needle and is advanced slowly under fluoroscopic guidance into the epidural space. The medicine will act as an anti-inflammatory reducing pain in the patient's neck and the arm. The needle is withdrawn from the patient's neck and this concludes the procedure. 